to rise the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a moment of silence, please. <coughs> Roll call, Mike. Council President Sturt. Here. Councilor Coase. Here. Councilor Champ. Here. Councilor Chamberlain. Present. Councilor Sturt. Here. Five members are present. Councilor Fry is absent. We have a quorum. Thank you. We have approval of the prior meeting's minutes. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Council President Sturt and second by Councilor Coase. Council President Sturz? Yes. Councilor Cole? Yes. Councilor Shan? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Sturt? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. I have no one um, wishing to address council as of this moment, so I guess we'll move on to committee reports, which the only thing we have is, uh, John, you have a report from the EMS committee, executive committee? I do. Okay. I am the county representative to the Fulton County Emergency Medical uh, Services Executive Committee. And we did meet last Tuesday. We had several requests that had come forth from the uh, Fire Chiefs Association. We discussed the one that had to do with the new computer systems and that. They had the final figures on that. And the committee approved what the chiefs had requested. So that request went go on to the county commissioners for their consideration. And then there was also a request brought forth to have an employee assist assistance program, and this would be countywide, and it would be for both the firefighters, EMS, and also law enforcement. And it, it helps them, um, well, it services after traumatic experiences and the different types of runs and the things that they experience because of the high, high suicide rates and people quitting and that. So it sounded like a very good very good program, and we authorized the Chiefs Association to go ahead and get some final figures on it and see what the contract would look like for it to be a countywide service. Is that pretty much sums it up? Yes. Okay, Chief. So that was the extent of our, our business. Our next meeting is the annual required meeting, which will be Wednesday, March 15th. That is an organizational meeting for us. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to add to your, I sat in that uh, meeting with, the, what was uh, the company's? Uh, Workplace he, Resources with Dr. John Luton. Luton, that's his name, yeah. And um, it is a really good program. So I appreciate the uh, committee for um, considering that. I think we'll definitely, uh, it was not cost prohibitive mm -hmm. by, by any means. And we, being we have at our, um, you know, for us, to use it, even if the commissioners felt it was out of their budget. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and we were trying to figure out how would you divide that up, you know, True. when you have a small, you know, community like Fayette and then, you know, more. And that's why countywide, countywide does make the most sense. Right. Based on the fact it would be all countywide first responders, right. police and fire. So it's really nice to be able to have this. So thank you. Hmm? Is that something that could be available to you, Father, please? That I don't know. All employees. Uh, if, it was a, if it was a situation where something happened and we had a, it would anybody involved in that, it would it would surely encompass them. Yes. A workplace, yeah. a workplace event. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean like if the, if right. the situation would happen sure. within? Yeah. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. This the spectrum was pretty broad as right. to uh, what they can do and benefit not only. The, the employee, but the family, family members. members yes, yeah. that's true. It did include family members. And, uh, um, hiring and uh, psychological testing, which would benefit the city. You know, mm -hmm. so. There's a lot of benefits yeah. to it. And I want to thank Heather for bringing that on board for everybody. Oh, that was just presented to me from somebody else. So very good. Okay. Thank you for <coughs> Let's move on to department head reports. Uh, other than working the last couple weeks with the EMS committee and, uh, and those items, uh, and Sam busy with the EMS runs, we've had a, a pretty high call volume in January. Already? Uh, yep. Okay. 
nothing other than uh, we have our uh, two annual dinners coming up, the local one on the 30th at the BFW, so keep a count to Trudy if you're coming to that. And then uh, return your tickets if you're coming to the one for the county on February 21st. If you can get those back to us by the 30th for a head count for that, we appreciate that. But uh, uh, nothing going on real new at the fire department right now. Thank you. <coughs> uh, just a couple of items. Uh, both of them are on your agenda. Their motions. Uh, we've talked about uh, several grants that we've received. Just we'll need action to so that we can enter into an agreement with the city of <coughs> on those two items, and that's later on in your uh, agenda. Also, uh, the company that we get our body worn cameras from, we did an evaluation for them, and for doing the evaluation, we actually got a free an additional camera, so it was really? savings to save about a thousand dollars. Very nice. Is that a quick question? Yes. That one grant you said the staff meeting was for cameras yes. at the council hall meeting. That's what I reported. But then change to a good question because when you say cameras, I'm thinking of the ones that we got in the streets. Is it yes. body cameras or no. ones? That, okay. Okay. Surveillance cameras. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Dennis. Yes. Other than uh, working on this year's project, starting to get them going. Um, I have to report tonight that we were contacted by a, um, a company that is interested in putting up a new cell tower in town. They would like to do it on city-owned property, and they are looking at uh, you know, their primary site being our piece of ground um, behind Riley Tractors Parks, adjacent to the, the old railroad bed. Actually kind of right in line with the, with the existing cell tower. Um, so it's a different company? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Different company. Um, <coughs> in short, their terms are $500 a month that we pay the city. Um, Ten-year term with uh, eight renewables built into it and a, like a cost of living increase every year. So it would start out at 500 bucks a month and then incrementally uh, work its way up with the like the consumer price index or something. Would we be able to use their tower for any of our stuff? Didn't ask them that. They're they're uh, looking at about a hundred and fifty by hundred and fifty foot footprint for this thing. Um, anyway, I told him we are initially interested and he's going to shop for uh, this company erects the towers and then they lease them to ABC cellular services. So at this point in time, he's uh, looking for clients to populate it, and if he's successful with that, he'll get back with us. So, next time I come, I'll ask him that question. Thank you. Anything else for Dennis? Hey, Jamie. Uh, I had sent out another email today uh, with the year on reporting. Um, everything got sent out and signed after our last meeting. Um, I've still been working on gap reports uh, to turn into our gap accountants. And uh, you may have noticed that W2s have not gone out yet. Um, they are in the works and will be out shortly. We're actually working on a new format uh, instead of the old pin fed printer. We're going to go on with like normal letter size paper that looks like most W2s <laughs> around nowadays. <laughs> so they'll be coming soon. Anything else? All right, Townsend, you're up. Uh, just one item to note, and it's on your agenda, and that has to do with the um, uh, one of the resolutions which uh, pertains to the approval of the recommendations or adoption of the recommendations of the revolving loan fund committee for three new uh, matching uh, grant applications from the RLF. We have a, another RLF meeting in the morning and we'll be entertaining two more applications and I think that will pretty much uh, circle the wagons on that. But uh, we'll be back to council on that once we've had a chance to meet with the Maumee Valley folks and consider and a vote on it. So tonight is just for the three uh, listed in that legislation. So the one must dropped out then, but there was six. Yeah. Well, we already approved, we had a resolution uh, at the end of last year for Mr. Ladd. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So that would be one. There's three here, and then I think there's two more. I thought there's six of them. He was there included, were. I think, in the six. No. No, there was, he was six besides. Besides, yeah. <coughs> right, Mr. Lamb. Yeah. We'll look well, at we'll look at that. I think I think we discussed that, and there was only five. We, so five we additional ones. Yeah, we did discuss that at the RLF too, and we figured out that there were only five. Okay. I think we were including his. Oh, on a paper at the staff meeting, there's six. Because there's supposed to be four tonight, and two that weren't completed yet. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I think well, three there's, yeah. there's three tonight. There was one already approved. And I'm aware of two other applications, but I will we'll follow up on that and see if there's one that we're missing. I think the other two. Our committee a whole you had four. That yeah, was supposed to be tonight, and then there's yeah. two more. Four tonight. Yeah, that's what our committee a whole had four. Yeah. Well, there should be just three. I'm pretty confident okay. that we have those listed in the leg legislation. Um, three for this evening are Mr. Gibarelli, Hammond Trees, and Mr. Darnell. And I think pending our applications by Ms. Uh, Dr. Shetty and um, Ivan Height, maybe? Yeah. Yes. Those were the ones. I'm well, glad to hear people are making use of the revolving home fund lines. We need to get some more. Yeah. That's all I have. Any questions for Tom? Okay, let's move on to first reading of legislation. Resolution 2017-02, accepting the recommendations of the Revolving Loan Fund Committee, authorizing the mayor to enter into certain agreements and declare an emergency. I'll make a motion to suspend the rules and declare an emergency on resolution 2017-02. I'll second that. Motion moved by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Sham. Is there any discussion? Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Sham? Yes. Council President Sturz? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturz? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Final passage. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Sham and second by Council President Sturz. Councillor Sham? Yes. Council President Sturz? Yes. Councillor Cole? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturz? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, resolution 2017-02 passes on emergency and is now in effect. Resolution 2017-03, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement for indigent defense services in the county court with the Fulton County Commissioners and declaring an emergency. I move we suspend the rules and declare an emergency on resolution 2017-03. Second. Motion moved by Councilor Coast and second by Councilor Coast. Is there any discussion? Councillor Champ? Yes. Councillor Cole? Yes. Council President Sturt? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturt? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Final passage. Second. Motion moved by Council President Sturt and second by Councillor Cole. Council President Sturt? Yes. Councillor Cole? Yes. Councillor Champ? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturt? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, resolution 2017-03 passes on emergency and it's now in effect. Thank you. We have nothing under second or third reading. Moving on to new business. We have another appointment to the park board. I need a motion for Kelly Rashford. This is renewal for her, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Five year. I make a motion to uh, appoint Kelly Rashley. I'll second it. Motion moved by Councillor Chamberlain and second by Councillor Sturtz. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Shan? Yes. Councillor Cole? Yes. Council President Sturtz? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Hopefully I'll be filling the last vacancy on that board and bringing that to you for the next meeting, too. Um, let's see, can we have a motion to accept the um, Violence Against Women Act grant? So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Champ and second by Councillor Coast. Councillor Champ? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor President Sturt? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturt? 
Yes. I hate zero nays. Motion carries. And uh, motion for the JAG grant. Make a motion to accept the JAG grant. Second. Motion moved by Councilor Chamberlain and second by Councilor Sturtz. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Sturtz? Yes. Councilor Champ? Yes. Councilor Cole? Yes. Council President Sturtz? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. Anything else for new business, Council? <laughs> we have a motion to approve the bills as presented. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councilor Coast and second by Council President Sturtz. Councilor Coast? Yes. Council President Sturtz? Yes. Councilor Champ? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Sturtz? Yes. Five yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. We have a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Council President Sturge and second by Councilor Coach for adjournment. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries.